reflection room has had an enormous impact on the religious life of UTD students, providing a dedicated, non-denominational space for thought, prayer, and meditation. I'm Jessica Higgins, and this is a UTD TV News Special Report. For the reflection room, people would pray, I mean, wherever they could find the spot, some people were telling me they prayed. Um, they had like the library staircase and the engineering building under the staircase. Um, maybe like in the back corner of the library or at a friend's apartment or at their own apartment, just wherever they could find a space. The reflection room is overwhelmingly popular with students. Student Union staff members counted 2,565 total students using the reflection rooms during their hourly rounds in the month of October 2013. This estimate is considered to be very conservative, as peak prayer times often do not coincide with the times that the rounds are conducted. Students say the reflection room provides many religious amenities all in one central location on campus. Some random do-gooder, we don't know who it is, left for these for us like three years ago. Um, and there are people are still using them. There's prayer rugs and scarves for the women who don't um, regularly wear the scarves. I'll put it on just to pray. Um, there's also like a little prayer time board, um, a little disclaimer about how to use everything. They added this uh, curtain which is helpful. We, we use this, this is like the woman's side, and here's the guy's side. Um, and the prayers are always gonna be facing that way, and so when the, the guys would lead the prayer, they're, all, they're already in front, which is um, nice. Um, the, the separation kind of gives us a little more privacy when we're praying. You're more focused on yourself than you're focused on like who's looking at you, um, especially because there's a lot of bowing and, and prostrating in the prayer. There is one aspect of on-campus prayer that the design of the facilities did not account for, and the impact can be observed from the puddles of water that students say often pose a hazard in the bathroom located right next door to the reflection room. It's an Arabic called wudu. Um, it's like a process of purification before you pray. You know, you're getting ready to be with, you know, God. So um, you start off, it's like um, you wash your hands three times and then you like rinse your mouth and you go through like, um, like the major areas. Um, and yeah, you do end with your feet. As much as we avoid having to do the, the pre-washing on campus, sometimes it does happen. And um, we try to clean up the area as much as possible, but there's only so much you can do. And then, you know, people are looking at you like, why, are you, why did you put in the sink? Uh, they have been asking us in the, in the swab, or in the sock office, about what we can do to make that easier, because, um, you know, it's, it's, it's hard to use a sink for something that's not its intended purpose. So if they gave us like a, a small area, we would be really grateful. The Muslim Student Association is advocating for an area to be constructed that would have the specific purpose to serve as a wash space for students to cleanse before prayers. Student government says that this type of area has actually been considered in the past. We considered it last year and uh, we went to a couple associations that we thought might be interested in something like that, uh, whether it be for, for religious purposes or not. and. Uh, we just didn't get, get very much student interest back, uh, and so we decided not to move forward with the project, just because we try to make sure that everything that we do really fits a student need and a student interest. We did do a petition last year, um, and I know a lot of people were really excited about that, and we wouldn't have to do the full room, because obviously, uh, where are you going to put that, but like, they could convert one of the stalls into just um, like a wash area, and we would only need one, honestly, people could just line up for that. Um, we were, I think, we're gonna keep pushing for that, hopefully it'll happen. <laughs> First, they should continue collecting signatures, but second, they should come to us and talk to us about it. We're easily the best way to get their voice heard. If you are interested in signing MSA's petition, you can access it and add your name at the link on the bottom of your screen. For more from UDD TV News, be sure to check out our website and Facebook page. Reporting in Richardson, this is Jessica Higgins. <laughs>